Hello beauties, today we're making Nigerian vegetable soup, popularly called Edikai Gong, and this is Kutsi, the Cross River Aquaibon people, which funnily enough, that is where I did my National Youth Service call. Oh, I learned from the masters. Come along with me to my kitchen last day. friends here are all the ingredients that i will be using to infuse this delicious vegetable soup and i got some ugu leaves i got some goat meat i got some beef i got some crayfish i got some dried pepper seasoning cube maggi palm oil dried fish um yellow pepper this yellow pepper it has an amazing fragrance an amazing aroma i got some periwinkle some shrimps and i got some cowhide that is popularly known as pomo you can use talk fish but i do not have one currently so first of all i am going to start by cooking my meat until it's nicely soft and tender not too soft that it falls off but soft enough so there i put my beef and my goat meat on fire and to that i added some salt and some seasoning cubes and i'm going to let that cook and of course i blended my my um crayfish and the pepper which i am going to infuse into the meat later on so what i did was when my meat was well cooked i added the dried fish which i had washed already and then after it's soft like this we're going to go in with our periwinkles and our shrimps guys i'd already pre had everything for making this soup earlier on so i didn't go through the preparation method with you but this is one of the easiest soups you ever make so now i am going to go in with my palm oil and i use quite a generous amount i remember when i was serving anytime we went to eat in a restaurant they have palm oil in calabar a lot of it they grow it there very good quality palm oil and they are very generous with it in their soups so i use a generous amount of this high quality palm oil so now we're going to go in with our water leaves and you want to use three and one ratio like one ratio of water leaves to three ratio of ugu leaves okay so now i didn't use any onions and of course i went in with my dry pepper into the boiling meat earlier on i lost the footage of that look how beautiful the soup is looking guys now this is the liquid i had removed earlier on and why i do this is i like to put some of the liquid from the stock aside just in case it's too dry then i can incorporate it back into the pot so that is why i removed that and i kept aside because water leaf can be have a lot of liquid in it so we're going to go in with our ugu leaves and then we're going to let that cook and guys it's so easy our vegetable soup is almost about ready and this soup is so good you can eat it with rice like my husband loves vegetable soup with rice i love it with some pounded yam and some gari look how beautiful our vegetable soup looks and here i went in with extra palm oil and yeah the palm oil stock is actually not pure palm oil it's stock i had removed after adding palm oil earlier on and it's going to add extra liquid into the soup so you can see little liquid no onions that's the secret to this edica i can't soup so yummy so delicious so so good now our leaves are well cooked I love the soup you're gonna enjoy it give this recipe a try let me know how it goes drop a comment in the description in the comment section let me know what you think about the soup okay if you're new to my channel a very well welcome to you please be a part of the family by hitting on that subscribe button and to my old subscribers I love you guys thank you for watching see you guys in my next video bye